All right, what's going on, everyone? We got a new movie from Gareth Edwards. Uh, kind of came out of nowhere. Well, at least I didn't know it was coming. Um, you know, Gareth Edwards, I don't know if he's done anything since Rogue One. Um, Rogue One is easily my favorite thing done in the Disney Star Wars era. Um, I think it's a fantastic movie. And, um, you know, I feel uh, Gareth kind of gets, you know, maybe not the credit he deserves or slagged off a little bit because there's the whole kind of controversy between what he kind of had as a final product versus Tony Gilroy coming in and fixing it. And Tony has said some things where he's more or less claimed that, you know, if it wasn't for him, like Rogue would have never been successful, but I don't know. Um, Gareth shot most of that movie. So I think there still would have been a pretty successful movie there. Um, I think he's probably maybe a little underrated, um, you know, when it comes to that department. And, you know, I love, I do love Tony Gilroy. I love what he's done with Andor, but, you know, I don't think you have kind of some of the magic you had in Rogue One without Gareth Edwards. So, um, let's, uh, let's see what he got for us here. Uh, the creator. It is, uh, let me read a little brief synopsis here. It is, uh, described as a post-apocalyptic thriller involving a future impacted by a war between humans and AI. Directed by Gareth, he is one of the writers along with Chris Weitz, um, and stars a bunch of people. Um, I see that John David Washington's there, um, who I recognize, and I'm not really familiar with much of the other cast. Uh, but let uh, you know. Without further ado, let's uh, let's see what uh, Gareth has for us. What's heaven? It's a peaceful place in the sky. Are you going to heaven? No. Why not? You gotta be a good person to go to heaven. Ten years ago today, the artificial intelligence created to protect us detonated a nuclear warhead in Los Angeles. As long as AI is a threat, we will never stop hunting them. This is a fight for our very existence. Whatever's in there, they're sure worried about someone getting in. Yeah, we're getting out. We're the same. We can't go to heaven. Because you're not good. And I'm not a person. Did you locate the weapon? Yeah, it's a kid. She built. What do you want with the child? We are this close to winning the war. Execute her, or we go extinct. They're coming to get me. Yeah, from what I've heard the reaction from people, that looks absolutely incredible. Um, getting mad, um, obviously some Battlestar vibes there. Um, not necessarily like Cylons, like is the child like fully synthetic, right? And she also, her, the back of her head looks at like uh, the other guy as well. Um, so are those, is that the evolution of AI to create a body for itself? Or is that just a, you know, a cyborg essentially? Um, yeah, Blade Runner vibes, like, looks awesome, like, looks awesome. Um, 
Well done, Gareth. But, you know, trailers can make you feel and think a lot of things that they don't quite be yet. But, um, you know, given the AI world we're in right now, um, you know, this movie's probably pretty timely um, anyway. So, cool. Um, this is, a, you know, a movie like this is one, like, this is the style of movie I'm looking for to actually go to the theaters and watch. So, um, I'm definitely interested. It's always, you know, it's never a bad choice to use uh, Aerosmith Dream On for your trailer music either. Great song. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Do you know anything else about this? And uh, are you excited for the creator? Man vs. AI. See you on the next video, everyone. Peace out.